Hello and welcome to Fluid Mechanics. My name is Dr. Mark Taylor, lecturer in civil engineering. So, Unit 6, Question 15, Tutorial Solution. So, Pete the Jakey has found a full cask of whiskey behind the clansman, and he's trying to remove the whiskey using a manky hose he's found. The whiskey is drawn from the tank through a hose of inside diameter of 25 millimetres. The relative roughness of the hose is 0 0.0004. Mick has asked Pete if he could calculate the volumetric flow and the minimum pressure in the hose, because Pete's concerned about the siphon and whether or not this is going to work. So the total length of the hose is 9 metres and the length of the hose to point A is 3.25 metres. So step one, we start off by writing out Bernoulli's equation. The first thing we can do is note that P1 and P2 are at atmospheric pressure. So we're going to assume that these are equal. Hence they equal zero. And then we're going to try and find an equation for the frictional head loss as we travel through the pipe. But note that we've already been given the relative roughness of the hose. So in step two, we assume a value for the friction factor. We're going to assume this is 0 0.016. We're now going to plug that into the calculation for the frictional head loss. And we get a value for HF in terms of V2. The third thing we need to do now, step three, is compare that to the previous equation for HF. And we can then calculate the value of the velocity. So in step four, we now calculate the Reynolds number. And we can do that because we're given the kinematic viscosity. And we can therefore calculate that this is in turbulent flow. So step five, now we've got a Reynolds number. We can plot that on the Moody chart. We know our value of its epsilon over D is 0 0.0004. And that's the relative pipe roughness. And then we can follow the chart and see the point where the two lines intersect. And at that point, we can read off the friction factor. So we now calculate a new value for HF using the new value of the friction factor that we found, the 0 0.019. We compare the two HF equations again, get a value for the velocity, in this case 2.959. We can now calculate the Reynolds number, and we can see that this is still in turbulent flow. So let's now plot that on the Moody chart. So we can see now that we've plotted that new value of the Reynolds number, we can see that the friction factor of 0 0.019 is okay. So with the calculated value of the velocity, if we stick that into the continuity equation, we can work out the quantity of flow. So Pete's made up. He's got his quantity of flow of 0 0.00145 meters cubed per second. So before we do the last part of the calculations, we're just going to remind ourselves of some of the datums. We decided that the end of the Mankey hose was the datum and we're going to consider that to be 0, 0.0. The top of the cask is plus 3.5 metres, and the top of the centre of the pipe is 5.0 metres. And remember that we've calculated the density because we're given the specific gravity. And if you compare that with water at 20 degrees, the density of the whiskey will be 598.8 kilograms per metre cubed. So we write out Bernoulli's equation, comparing position 1, position A. We know that the pressure at point 1 is 0 because it's atmospheric. V1 is 0 because it's not flowing. Z1 is 5 minus 1.5. PA equals 0 because it's atmospheric. VA is 2.959 metres per second. ZA is the datum. And HF, we don't know, but we can calculate that. So we work out HF is 1.102 metres. We put that in and we end up with the pressure at point A equal to minus 17904.64 pascals. So Mick's well happy uh, because this is less than atmospheric pressure, which is going to mean we've got a siphon, which is mean the liquid, or in this case the whiskey, is going to flow through the Mikey hose. Nice one. Cheers.